I'm Louisa and today I'm going to talk about and analyze two pieces of art. The first piece of art that I'm going to talk about is the Disputation of the Holy Sacrament and the second is the Queen. Firstly, I'm going to talk about the Disputation of the Holy Sacrament or La Disputa painted by Raphael in 1590-10 in the Renaissance period. Okay, so first we're going to talk about a little bit of the artist. Raphael Sanzio, often referred only as Raphael, was a master of painting and architecture at the Florence School during the Italian Renaissance, celebrated for the perfection and smoothness of his works. One of his famous works, the Basilica of San Pedro, Villa Madama, the Chigi Chapel, School of Athens, the marriage of the Virgin and many others. Now let's focus on the disputation of the Holy Sacrament. In the painting, Raphael has created a scene spanning both heaven and earth. Above, Christ is surrounded by an aureole flanked by Blessed Virgin Mary and John the Baptist to his right and left. This painting represents Christianity's victory over the multiple philosophical tendencies shown in the School of Athens fresco painted on the opposite wall. In addition, this painting is part of the series Frescoes of Raphael's Rooms. So the painting was painted by Raphael in 1590-10. Its type is fresco. Its dimensions are 500 centimeters to 770 centimeters and today's location is the apostolic palace in vatican city meaning of this painting represents the theology and shows the occupants of a catholic church underneath the span of heaven above their sacred altar i'm going to talk about the technique Composition. The unknown people depicted in the disputation, such as Pope Sixtus IV, mixed with the fathers and doctors of the early and medieval church without any break in continuity. Perspective. The disputation's semicircular space seems to be like an apse without walls or a roof, where two assemblies of equal size and dignity reflect and debate on the nature of Christ. Color palette. Raphael's mural painting techniques used permanent lime-proof pigments dispersed in water which were painted on freshly laid lime plaster. His use of color is the closest to perfection as nearly any artist. During the restoration of the disputation of the Holy Sacrament, the colors were not lost. The use of light. Similarly to Michelangelo, he creates lights and shadows within the tones of a single color and combines color in a dramatic manner. Brush stroke. Raphael's brush stroke included the use of seco and in tonaco techniques. His mastery of brush stroke is evident in the idealized portraits that represents key figures from the Old and New Testaments, saints, doctors of the church, theologians, and literally personages. Now I'm going to talk about the swing painted in 1767 by Jean Honoré Fragonard. Firstly, I'm going to talk about the artist. Jean Honoré Fragonard was a French painter whose Rococo style was distinguished by his remarkable ease, exuberance, and hedonism. One of the most active artists actors in the last decades of the old regime, Fragonard produced more than 10,000 paintings, of which two only are dated. The Swing is Fragonard's best-known work. Is it believed to have been commissioned by the Baron de Saint-Julien, who wanted a picture of his mistress on a swing being pushed by a bishop? Whilst he was so positioned 
as to be able to see up her the girl's skirt. The painting depicts an elegant young woman on a swing, a smiling young man hiding in the bushes on the left, watches her from a vantage point that allows him to see up into her billowing dress, where his arm is pointed with head in hand. A smiling older man who is nearly hidden in the shadows on the right propels the swing with a pair of ropes. The older man appears to be unaware of the young man. As the young, as the young lady swings high, she throws her left leg up, allowing her dainty shoes to, to fly through the air. The swing is loaded with a sexual symbolism. The couple in the painting appear to be having a secret affair or are about to have one. This is indicated by the statue of Cupid holding a finger to his lips. The swing is a symbol of the fickle, playful woman. Now I'm going to talk about the technique used in this painting. Fragonard painted the swing with the intention of flattering the baron and his mistress to supply them with a light red, frivolous painting and to provide an intimate memento of their relationship. To this end, he utilized only the finest of Rococo techniques. Composition the swing is composed with, in a triangular shape, with the baron and the husband forming the base of the pyramid, and the maiden in the air at the top of the triangle in the center of the space. Color palette. The Rococo style attempted to appeal more to the sensual rather than the intellectual side. As a result, Fragonard utilized a delicate pastel color palette that would be just as at home in a cupcake shop as on canvas, with frothy creams, juicy pinks, and mighty greens. The use of light. For this outdoor scene, Fragonard utilized a soft, dappled sunlight flittering through the, tr the trees and backlighting them, infusing the scene with a soft, seductive glow. The light hits the young lady on the swing, light highlighting her skin and the creamy billows of the fabric that swirl around her brush stroke. Emphasizing the tree and easy natural of the subject matter, Fragonard uses a fluid lo loose brush stroke, keeping the edges soft with regards to ma his main figures in comparison to many of his other works. However, he paints with a thinner details than usual. In inside of the 17th touch matters such as... Now I'm going to talk about the GIA core values. When we look closely, we see that the painters had integrity because not only did they share in the ideals of their time, but also they were true to the art artistic movement that expressed those ideals. They respected and honored the artistic style of their time through their work. Thus, even though they are very different pieces of art, both remain relevant ex examples of their artistic conclusion. From my point of view, both of the arts are very delightful and they have a way that will make you engage it with the painting. And this was the analysis of the two paintings, the Disputation of the Holy Sacrament and the Swing. Thanks for your attention.